basic guards. There are eight for online, for offline. First guard, you always start your sets from a sheath position. I obviously don't have a sheath, but I'm implying one. This is to teach you to counter draw. When you draw, you pull. So your arm and back, your offhand, in this case, is moving backwards while your on hand, your primary, is pulling forward. So, shink. You're going to pull straight up. The blade is vertical. The true edge, which is the edge you hack with, is up. One, two, three, four, five. Now you'll note the shots are smooth. You're, with this guard, you're blocking a, an attack to your head, and you're targeting their shoulders or upper thigh because it angles in. Okay. The second guard is the second position. It's 90 degrees down. And you're going to one, two, three, four, five. This is one of the two primary counter guards. You're going to start that guard from third, which I will show you, and then this is third. We're going to get back to it in a second, but for the proper application of second and later fourth, you start in third position, you parry out, into second and extend. What this is doing is catching the blade and sending the shot back. It will deflect it. You, your optimal goal is to get this edge where at the point where your guard meets your blade creates a sort of vacuum. The blade pull, gets pulled down, deflected out. You want that to end up very close to your flank. You don't want to be way out here because it makes an opening. It's more so in fourth. So, rotate, catch, and throw. That's second. Third is the straightforward, this is the mother shot. This is where almost every shot you throw is going to come from. You want to practice especially your lunges because it's a very natural shot. Fourth, you keep your elbow tucked. And I want you to see fourth from the side. As much as possible, it's harder for, for women, keep your elbow tucked and bend at the elbow for the block. Okay? So, you're bending at the elbow as the initial catch. You want to stop when your, your wrist, the, the little angle, and your flank are all lined up, and then you want to counter. So, third, bam, bam. This is fourth. Okay? Those are the four linear guards. The offline guards, again, starting from a sheath position, are fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. I teach them as one fluid motion to build up fluidity in the joints and to give you an idea of where you're going from each. I'll go over it again. Fifth, notice you are always leading with the true edge. So when you go to switch to sixth, you're going to disengage your blade. There's a slight rotation so that the downward slash is then leading with the true edge. From sixth, you're going to disengage at the wrist and elbow. You're still keeping your arm pressed pretty close. This is to defend your kidneys and your other vital areas. This is a good you know, secondary meat shield. So up to seventh. This is a very nice guard because this is going to catch the shots that are coming. When somebody, if somebody were to chop at me like that, boom, this gives me that lovely block. And then down to eighth. It covers low. These are integrated both attacks and defenses. The idea being you can easily move from one into the other, giving you a, a lovely defense while giving you the exact same motions you would use to hack at someone even if you mix the rhythm up. There is a ninth guard that is fully extended with your hand in fourth upright, you're aiming at the face or throat. That is the, the Spanish guard or Spanish defense, and that is for a different style that I'm doing right now. How's that?